WhatsApp might be a little-known messaging app in the US, but in many parts of the globe, it's an essential part of everyday life. The Facebook-owned app is easily one of the most popular messaging services in the world. To understand WhatsApp's popularity, you need to understand it was one of the first mobile apps to offer free, internet-based messaging. Instead of sending texts using cellular data networks, where fees may apply, WhatsApp primarily relies on a Wi-Fi connection to send and receive messages and calls for free. Fast forward to now, WhatsApp is preferred by over 2 billion users for its ability to streamline communications, no matter their device or location. Not only is WhatsApp simple to use, it also offers far more features and customizations than traditional SMS messaging all for free. If you're already familiar with the app, you may be interested in our favorite WhatsApp tips and tricks. But if you're a newbie, you'll want to check out our guide below. From how to sign up to WhatsApp's best features, here's everything you need to know to get started. The main draw of WhatsApp is it allows you to send and receive calls and messages using only an internet connection, which means it's virtually free to use and ideal for international calling. There are no fees to sign up, and no data plan allowances to worry about. While WhatsApp is similar to other messaging services like iMessage or Messages by Google, it still offers a few key advantages, the most significant being cross-platform functionality, between Android and iOS, for example. WhatsApp has core features like voice and video calls, in addition to voice calls, WhatsApp also offers video calls, including a group function, which allows up to 8 participants on one call. Voice messaging, you can record and send voice messages to individual chats or group chats. Secure messaging, WhatsApp uses end-to-end -end encryption, a secure communication standard where only the people who are messaging can read the messages. Photos and video sharing, you can send videos, photos, and GIFs without worrying that your images will be pixelated or not downloadable, which can sometimes happen across SMS messages between different mobile platforms and wireless carriers. Document sharing, WhatsApp lets you send all kinds of documents, such as PDFs, spreadsheets, and slideshows without the hassle of email or separate document sharing apps. Desktop access, there's a WhatsApp desktop version available for Mac and for PC. WhatsApp business, WhatsApp's dedicated business account is designed so entrepreneurs can showcase their products and connect with their customers on a platform that's convenient and familiar. There's been no shortage of instant messaging apps over the past decade, as the rise of advanced smartphone platforms has created the need for more sophisticated ways to communicate than traditional SMS text messages allowed for. In fact, the Apple App Store and Google Play Store are both littered with apps that promise to be the next big thing in mobile communications. Yet, many of those fell by the wayside as they failed to achieve the critical mass of users needed to make them useful. After all, apps designed for communicating with others don't do you much good unless enough folks are using them. Luckily, WhatsApp made our list of the best iPhone apps and our infamous list of the best Android apps out there. While it's far from the only game in town, one app that soared to the top of the digital food chain is WhatsApp. What began in early 2009 as a small project by two former Yahoo engineers to replace SMS struck a chord, acquiring a quarter million users in its first year and growing to 400 million by the end of 2013. Since its 2014 acquisition by Facebook, now Meta, WhatsApp has reached a point where it's now become the de facto standard for cross-platform messaging worldwide, with over 5 billion installs from the Google Play Store and 2 billion active monthly users. At its most basic level, it's simply a chat app for exchanging messages with your friends, not unlike the SMS text messaging that's built into nearly every mobile phone. However, the point of WhatsApp was to replace SMS, and the lightly media-capable MMS, with a new platform that could overcome the limitations inherent in the archaic carrier-based messaging services. SMS was, and continues to be, stuck in the dark ages of technology, with 160 character limits and no support for anything other than pure text. Its younger brother, MMS, allows for the exchange of small bits of media, 
which amount to low-resolution photos and sound bites, but it's effectively useless for exchanging videos and still lacks things like read receipts and status indicators. WhatsApp wasn't the only app to try to address these limitations. Apple successfully did something similar in 2011 with its popular iMessage platform, and Google took several stabs at it with a variety of messaging apps. Still, its attempts felt rudderless and never gained much traction, at least not until it more recently embraced the RCS messaging standard. Nevertheless, while Apple created a solution for its own club of iPhone, iPad, and Mac users, and Google floundered about, WhatsApp created a platform agnostic solution that just worked. While it's still tied to mobile phones, it works equally well on both the iPhone and Android platforms, and there are Mac and Windows apps and even a web client that works in any modern browser. Much of the magic of WhatsApp is in its elegant simplicity. Like SMS MMS and Apple's I'm Sage, there are no accounts to set up, and communications are based entirely on phone numbers. You don't need to worry about knowing nicknames or usernames to communicate with your friends, you only need a phone number. Further, there's nothing to log into beyond confirming your mobile number the first time you set up WhatsApp on a new device. The extent of your user profile is a name, photo, and brief 140 character about status. While this design means you need a mobile phone number to use WhatsApp, that's kind of the point and one of the likely reasons the platform has become so successful. However, WhatsApp goes well beyond simple one-on-one -on -one chats. You can exchange all sorts of rich media from full-resolution photos and video clips to documents, audio recordings, stickers, and animated GIFs. You can also create group chats with up to 1,023 of your closest friends and use WhatsApp to place audio and video calls to any other WhatsApp user. WhatsApp is available in mobile versions for both Android and iPhone, you can find it on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Note that WhatsApp does not provide a version of the app that's optimized for Android tablets or iPad. WhatsApp requires Android 4.1 or newer or iOS 12 or newer, so compatibility shouldn't be a problem. There are also WhatsApp desktop apps for both Windows and Mac OS. These are distributed through the Microsoft Store and Mac App Store and set a similarly low bar for system requirements, Windows 10.1 or newer for Windows PCs or Mac OS 10.11, El Capitan, or newer for Macs. As of this writing, the version of WhatsApp desktop available on the Mac App Store is simply a wrapper for WhatsApp web. WhatsApp has a native Mac app currently available as a public beta that you can download directly from its website, it will undoubtedly find its way onto the Mac App Store once it's ready for final release. WhatsApp launched in 2009 and quickly became one of the most popular messaging apps in existence it's now up to 1.5 billion monthly users from over 180 countries, with 60 billion messages sent every day. WhatsApp is free and allows you to sidestep international calling rates by making audio and video calls over Wi-Fi or data. For ease of use and security, it's hard to beat. If you're new to the app, here's a few things to keep in mind. To get started, you can download WhatsApp from the Apple Store, the Google Play Store, or right from the WhatsApp website. There's a desktop version, too, similar to I'm Sage, if you want all your chats synced on multiple devices. If you give WhatsApp permission, it will automatically import all your phone contacts and handily tell you whether or not they're also using the app. WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger share some features no surprise there, since Facebook bought the app for $19 billion in 2014. There are a couple useful differences, though, you don't need a Facebook account to use it, just a phone number. Helpfully, if you have friends switching SIM cards, and numbers, as they move between countries, WhatsApp will still keep all your messages in one thread. As in Messenger, WhatsApp will tell you when a contact was last seen on the app. It goes a little further with the red receipts, though, which are gradated so that you can tell exactly what's going on with your message, one gray mark means it's successfully left your phone and is on the WhatsApp server. Two gray check marks mean it's been delivered to everyone in the thread. Two blue check marks means it's red. 
In groups, you can swipe left on your message to see who's read it. Instead of giving you the anxiety inducing three dots when someone else is typing, an italic typing will appear up by their name instead. This is particularly useful in group chats, when multiple people might be going at once. There are a couple quirks to be aware of. Unless you go in and turn the setting off, WhatsApp will automatically download all media photos, videos to your phone library, including the stuff that other people send to you and the groups you're in. That can eat up storage limits fast, and can also result in other people's selfies cropping up in your photo library. To turn this off, go to Settings Chats, and then unselect Save to Camera Roll. You should also pay attention to whether you're using your Wi-Fi or data to download messages. Video and photo messages can use higher amounts of data, so you might want to wait until you're on a wireless connection. The biggest thing WhatsApp has going for it is its privacy policy. All messages are sent using end-to-end -end encryption meaning that only the sender and recipient can read the messages. If you feel like verifying it, you can go into your chat with another user, click their name, and then under contact info you'll see an encryption tab. This will give you a unique QR code and 60 digit number that only you and your contact have in common. So whether you're planning a surprise party with 20 people, or talking to your best friend in Mongolia, no one else will know what you're saying. Thank you for watching this video.